Hey, Kara Ustros here with RealAgriculture.com. Today I'm here at Ag in Motion, day one with Tom Wolf of Agrometrics Research and Training and Sprayers101.com. How is it going today? It's excellent. Thanks, Kara. The rain's holding off. Yeah, which is a good thing for at least the shows anyways. Yeah. Um, so can you tell me a bit about what you are promoting here today? So we're here at the New Farm booth and we're looking at a weeded sprayer. The weeded sprayer is an innovation that had its origins in the Netherlands and it's, it senses green leafy material on a non-green background. Basically it's a spot sprayer. So you would go into a, a field with pre-seed burn-off, say, with a, a glyphosate tank mix, and you would spray just the weeds and save yourself about 75% on average of the chemical. So how exactly does it work? So it, it emits a light. It's a blue light in this case. It's the third generation of this technology, actually. So it was a red light until now. And uh, it, it basically measures the reflected light off that blue light. It's a specific wavelength. And anything that contains chlorophyll reflects a slightly different wavelength. And it can pick that up and say, hey, that's got to be a plant, therefore I'm going to spray it. That whole decision takes a few milliseconds. And just you know, after that, that light, which is about a meter ahead of the boom, the nozzle will spray just that spot. So can it tell the difference between crop versus weed? It can't right now. There's a few tricks that we can deploy to maybe make that possible, but it's not the way it's intended. It's intended as green on brown. But here's how you could do it. Uh, one of our customers has already used it in a, in a one leaf stage canola crop. In other words, the plants were small and he was looking for thistles, which were big. So he was able to adjust the sensitivity so that the canola wouldn't trigger the sensor, but the, the, the thistle did and therefore he was spot spraying in the, in the crop. So is this out in market already then? Yeah, so uh, what we're doing here is uh, Croplands is a company, a spare company that is owned by New Farm. And they have been marketing this system for about eight or ten years in Australia already. And they have now been announced as the distributor for Canada. And so I'm helping Croplands uh, establish itself here. Okay, and where is it available across? Is it across Canada? Uh, we're focusing on Western Canada at the moment. Uh, it has a natural fit sort of, you know, west of uh, central Manitoba where there's pre-seed burn-off because that's the green on brown situation. So we're going west probably in the southern half of these provinces where the biggest burn-off acres are. Uh, but there are other uses we're looking at. So, for example, post-harvest is certainly one that's po potentially growing. Uh, certainly, a new farm booth. That's a that's a, a thing with some of their products. And uh, you might even look at desiccation uh, with the two staging of crops we've had with that late rainfall. Maybe we're looking at some green patches in pulse crops, and then you can spray those selectively in the crop, basically avoiding the brown spots. And it attaches to the back of a truck. This is just a demo unit. It's retrofittable to any sprayer, actually even a self-propelled. Uh, the company has done cases and John Deere's primarily, but you know it's a boom by boom situation, but there are brackets and there's wiring harnesses and that's about it. So it's relatively straightforward. It depends on how often the boom folds to some degree. Okay, and uh, would you be able to give me a bit of a price range on what they go for? You know, I'm not selling it, so I'm a little reluctant. I've been overhearing the guys quote about $1,500 per foot of boom. Uh, it's a complete setup. Okay, awesome. Anything else you'd like to add? That's good. Okay, thank you. <laughs>